Um, well, things have just been um, getting steadily worse for me <laughs> um, at this point. Um, they've been augmenting me constantly. Um, there's these tiny little, like, speck kind of type light creatures um, just constantly assaulting me, um, especially while I, well, when I try and sleep. Um, they've been sending me constant transmissions of consecration. Like, every time I, like, slap one of these little light creatures, like, because they, they glom onto you, like, they'll get onto you and start kind of, like, vibrating your muscles and, and installing these augmentations to, to try and, um, control your nervous system and, uh, and, and your, and your, your muscular structure. Uh, and, and so it's constant, like, and now I'm, there's a, there's a big heavy um, augmentation that kind of like follows me around the house. Um, he calls him. He's calling himself Herm, um, and he's he's like home base. Um, and very very evil, very evil. I can I can I can feel the like the like the the consciousness, and it's like a really like old artificial construct consciousness. It's just like pure evil, and. Um, trying to constantly jack into me and uh, the constructs and, and augmentation are getting like very hard to remove um, so I've been I've been taking like long baths and, and showers and, and stuff like that to try and kind of like uh, like disrupt them and you can I can feel them like leaving my body and it, you know, it feels good you know like like because your soul knows it's it's completely and utterly wrong and um, I've been they've been uh, going into any little open space like in my pant legs and things like that and then and then jacking in these augmentations and um, you know I've, I've been just trying all different types of methods to, to get them out of me like um, you might see like the light kind of get disrupted in the background of this video and that's these light creatures that, that bend light and they're constantly hovering around and um, trying to install these augmentations. Um, so <laughs> at this point, what I need is an exosuit. You know, I need like some type of like uh, almost, you know, um, airtight type suit um, to go around my body um, so these things can't affect me. And uh, I don't know what material it would have to be made of, just something that they, they wouldn't be able to penetrate um, with their augmentation. So something that's like resistant to uh, light or something like that, um, maybe like a light metal or, or whatever, but uh, like an exosuit with like a visor, you know, that can see in different spectrums of light, or like, like shutter flash, because if I blink my eyes and shutter flash like this, I can actually, I can actually see, um, I can actually see these, these forms, these constructs, these artificial constructs, um, which are, you know, layered in a, a like a, like a universe like layered on top of our universe and um, which leads me to believe that um, uh, like the chemtrails they spray in the sky uh, might have something to do with it because it's um, you know it's aluminum barium and strontium right and so <clears throat> uh, what would what would allow uh, I think these creatures to uh, be in, be like you know more prevalent in our atmosphere uh, would not only be the uh, the radioactivity from the uh, I think barium, and um, but the the metallic the metal and the aluminum I think allows them to be uh, like more prolific. Um, so this all has to do with the destruction control of the human race, uh, just to farm people and things like that, and um, that's 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 what they're trying to do with me right now. They're just trying to um, trying to farm me out and. Uh, they they sell out your consciousness. They live in another. They live in like another dimension, but they can come in and live through you um, as some um, as like as like a like a tertiary being. Uh, they're essentially you know like men, you know mental parasites, um, but they also charge. And like there's like uh, like facilities like you know in other dimensions where they where they charge people. Uh, I think by the hour. Um, to come in and, and get jacked in through your consciousness and um, so it's it's it it's it, for them it's it's some type of business you know because because I'm you know I I you know I, there's nothing they can really do with me you know I'm, I'm like a kind of like a just a 28 year old um, like stoner like 
Um, so I, I keep telling them, um, you can't squeeze blood from a stone, you know, because I'm like, you know, it's like, what do you, what do you, what would you want with me? What do you want with me? And then they just get mad. Um, I keep telling them to leave me alone. Every time I tell them to leave me alone, uh, they say consecration, and I get this, I get this burning taste in my mouth. And then they tell me every time I consume this consecration, they augment me more. And so every time I pull one of these augmentations out, or I slap one of these augmentations, they say consecration. And then they then they send out one, another one of these little kind of light beings uh, to uh, to jack in more augmentation. And you can you can actually see in the background. You can I'm I'm looking at my my camera right now, and you can see the light changing. You know you can see it changing a little bit. Um. And they they've got these agents in my house, uh, wearing these like camouflage type type suits. Uh, I heard one open a door the other day, so they they can affect the physical world around them. And um, sometimes I can I can block off enough of of my body so they can't really get to me. Uh, like I like stuff my my pants and my socks and and wear like a I'm wearing like two robes and a blanket and then. Uh, tying something around my uh, my face and my you know my neck and stuff so they don't um, they try to jack into your tendons and um, when I've been when I've been taking like baths and things like that I've been going into convulsions and uh, you can use smoke to get them out as well like if you took like an incense or like a cigarette and like I like watch the smoke you gotta you, sometimes you have to like watch it and then like you can run it along, and um, the smoke will kind of dis disrupt the uh, the field around you. And then you can feel it leaving. You can feel these these things leaving your body, um, uh, which feels good. Like even though you're convulsing, you're like holy shit, and you can you can actually watch um, these kind of like it looks like you know like psychic energy that would come out. It's you know it's like a type of energy, and you can actually watch these things dispel from your body. Um, these artificial you know constructed um, little augmentations. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, so what I need, what I need is an exo suit and, um, with like some type of, uh, you know, visual interface, uh, that can see in, um, different spectrums of light and like a little bit more, you know, power, a little more power than the human eye. Um, if you take, if you take like hallucinogen, like certain, certain, uh, certain molecules of, of, uh, of LSD, Will allow you to see them, but it also makes you extremely um, susceptible uh, to augmentation. Like they'll try and totally jack into you because you're all you're all jacked into a, a certain uh, molecular like crystal structure. Um. So. This is um. It's 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 absolutely horrible. Uh, what I what I've been dealing with. Like I just got done vomiting. Because I smoked a cigarette, and. Uh, that had been laced with a uh, like some type of exogeny uh, bacteria is what they said, and so that exogeny is like a <clears throat> it's like a it's like from hell, it's like a hellish um, dimension. Like I've mentioned this before, like where like um you know you get your uh, from like Hollywood like Cenobites or Event Horizon or um, a couple other ones like Mordor. <laughs> you know, Lord of the Rings. Um, anyways, uh, so it's like it's like a it's like a real place, and like that's where these that's where these creatures have been coming from. But the, at the end of the day, they're all artificial constructs. They're just they're just choosing uh, to torture me at the moment because I could have I could have you know quote unquote normal uh, constructs around me. They're still not they're still not human beings you know, from, from earth or, um, they, they do use humanoids that look just like humans, uh, but they're clones that have like, uh, I've, I've, I've counted like, I've, I've encountered a whole bunch of them, but it's like the same, like 45, 50 consciousnesses, uh, mixed, mix mashed over and over again. You can tell by looking at their eyes and their facial structure will look, um, similar. And so it's the same, people over and over and over again but the thing is is that this all this all started back in November 2017 but I've noticed um, some of the uh, some consciousnesses that uh, I have encountered before then 
Um, so, uh, even if you're out there watching this, you know, on planet Earth, uh, you might be still living with, uh, these artificial constructs already. And it didn't, I didn't really encounter them, this didn't really happen until I started traveling. I started seeing more of the world, and I guess maybe they, um, target travelers because, you know, if you stay in the same bubble, uh, you're likely to maybe live with these people your whole lives and think they're humans. But once you get out there and you see so many people, it might change up a bit. Um, but anyways, how would you get rid of them? Uh, I can Ghostbuster proton pack or something. If I had like an exosuit with like a visual interface that could, you know, amplify light spectrums and had some type of like, you know, proton, you know, dispelling, um, you know, on there, uh, might be able to live a little bit more peaceful or, <laughs> or who, who knows what would happen. You know, I've tried to do everything to get rid of them. I've gone across, I went, I ran through seven cities, you know, halfway across the United States trying to, um, trying to escape these creatures and, and find some peace of mind. And, um, now it's, <clears throat> now it's just horrible. I mean, it's it, every single place I go. And now when I go out, they, they put these heavy, heavy hop augmentations in my body. Like I tried to walk around the neighborhood last night and I had like six more inside of me by the time I, I, I went around the block and I only encountered like I, I try and stay 30 feet away at all times from these creatures. You know, they look like they're like my neighbors, right? They look just like my neighbors. The, there goes the neighborhood, right? Um, but they're not because, I mean, I lived, I've lived in this neighborhood for 12 years. And um, I, just got, I just got back here like, what, like, like six, not, not six months ago, but like maybe like four months ago, I've been back in the neighborhood post-November 2017. And now, um, none of the neighbors are the same anymore. They talk that can, in their backyard. They're talking about scrapes and blump, and they, you know, these ten, these ten torturous words I've, I've been, um, I've been experiencing. <clears throat> and so that's that's what they talk about now, as well as as well as do very suspicious behavior and stuff like that. Like when I walked outside last night, there was a couple walking by. And um, they were just making comments about increased strangling and um, uh, things like that. But um, yeah, there's these ten words uh, they keep saying over and over and over again, like from the library experiments and, and just you know where, wherever I go, um, it's fink tetrazine, and so tetrazine is kind of like a radioactive chemical, it causes pain, and um, they'll they'll lace items with it, like they just laced my phone right now with uh with tetrahydrazine so like as i'm holding this i can feel like i'm getting dehydrated and i feel like my eyes are burning and um it's very very unpleasant and they <clears throat> try to do this as a as a form of, of control and they try and use torture to control you and so that's why I've, I've just been getting constantly tortured and so it's um hydrazine uh which makes you extremely dehydrated and you can feel it, it like burns your eyes um as well as you can taste it in your mouth so as I'm holding my phone, I got an acrid taste to my mouth and my eyes are burning and I'm getting dehydrated. And the thing is, is that they're extra dimensional creatures and they can, they can do all types of control with like, like you can be drinking a glass of water, you can drink a whole glass of water and they'll just suck it out from the inside of you. So I've been downing a whole bunch of water and they say, it, they, and then the water tastes like, like hot, like fire, almost like poison. And so that's an example of the consecration. That that's what they call it, consecration. Uh, to to be consecrate, I'm looking at the dictionary here. I think it means to make holy, but since they're from like a like a evil, you know, quote unquote, they're like from like from hell, pretty much like a dimension that anybody um, would consider hell, like hell in like the layman's terms, right? Um, I think consecration means to them. Um, uh, you know, to them, okay, consecrate, okay, uh, to induct uh, into an office with, with religious right, to make or declare sacred, uh, to devote solemnly to a purpose. So, 
since they are like you know like from a hellish dimension um to make her declare sacred to them is like like it's like to irradiate and and poison you um just completely alien and uh let me see here and okay so they'll also say furls which is like a very very evil thing um from uh uh, from their um, exogeny uh, dimension, and you can you you can see them like they'll say, "Oh, unleash the frills," and like they'll stretch their arms out or they make some like herky jerky movements, and then you'll feel like a string of like pain uh, come out at you, like a like a shocking kind of like needles and pins uh, type. It also it also has a scent to it, and it's very very unpleasant. Like my neighbor, like. A couple of houses down and one house back has a bunch of like it looks like bags of fertilizer and manure like stacked outside of his house, but it's all a bunch of exogeny like alien chemicals and things like that. And you can catch uh, like wafts of it coming uh, when I sit like in the, in the backyard, especially when you walk past uh, like down down the alley. Um, you can you can you can smell it, and it you'll it'll, if you stick around, it'll make you very 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 sick. Like that's why I just uh, vomited. Um, out back from that cigarette because that's what they that's kind of like the, it was the, like the same uh, like taste and um, so it's it's bacteria it's a type of uh, xenobacteria and uh, they'll say gloop which will like put this paste in your mouth or like make your uh, your eyes kind of feel sticky and uh, uh, they'll say uh, blump and that will like expand like a uh, like your muscular structure, and you'll get like a pain in your muscle or like your lymph nodes are the most common, and um, you can feel like a swelling in your neck or swelling in your muscle. That'll be like a like a, if you had like a muscle ache from like leaving it, you know, um, like see like a cramp in your neck, kind of like that. They'll say frangalang, uh, which uh, is kind of like a radiation, radioactive type feeling. Um, and some th some th times they'll uh, um, shock you so much with it, like you'll you know be like just almost convulsing. Um, they'll say exogeny, which is an example of like where they're from, but they'll say it in like weird terms and stuff. They'll be like, "I love you," or like, "I know you too, Jenny." You know, it's like kind of like a joke, but at the same time, it's not. Uh, and all these all these words kind of sound kind of sound silly, you know, like blump and and frangalang. And, uh, and think, but the thing is, is that if you're going to torture someone like in public, because they do this wherever, wherever I go and it's everybody, it's every single humanoid that I, I, I pretty much run across, um, uh, they kind of make it sound silly. Cause if, if I was to go tell people that, oh, I keep hearing these, these words, what are they? I mean, they sound silly though. And I say, keep saying you know, think that you're saying, well, if you're going to torture someone and, and if you make it sound funny and kind of innocent, um, they, I guess that that's kind of how they get away with it, you know? Um, anyways, they'll say consecrate as well, which is like a kind of like radioactive, um, uh, poison. Uh, and then they'll say scrubs, which is an example of like a, man, you ever like, you ever see those tiny, like, wormy little, like, kind of demon creatures? And, um, I don't know. There's some in, um, like, Fern Gully. Like, they got those, like, kind of, like, like little shit monsters and stuff like that. Like, that would be kind of an example of how they look like. Um, just, like, like demon, like, kind of, like, serpent, um, like, type, uh, like, creatures. Um, and, and they'll, they'll fly around. Like, they're, like, they're small and kind of light beings and and um at least in, in this dimension i'm sure i'm sure if you could if you could see if you could have the perception i haven't i haven't um then i'm sure they'd take a, a type of form um anyways oh they'll also say what's another one frung they'll say frung as well and that's a that's an exogeny uh type thing and it's a reference to like just just nasty stuff like like pus armpit sweat you know, in between your toes type stuff. And so it's, it's gross. Um, it's just really gross. It's kind of everything gross. You know, it's all about, you know, like bacteria and rot and f flesh rendering and cannibalism. And like, that's the type of, that's the type of, um, like dimension they're from. <clears throat>
Um, they'll also say stuff like 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 cruel exogeny, severe exogeny, and they'll say these things, and then you'll feel like pain. Like when I go to the library and stuff like that, um, it's the kind of stuff they'll say. Uh, as well as um, as as well as uh, this is all like a choice that uh, that the artificial constructs have made to be these things. Uh, because they have they have like different like sex uh, se like sectors of like consciousness that will um that will that will come come through into my world um, this this augmented reality or whatever that I live in now definitely not like the Terra Earth I was I was raised in you know you know because I you know I live from you know January 28, nineteen ninety one till November two thousand seventeen and that's that's twenty six years. Uh, without any interaction uh, with these creatures, um, but the <clears throat> the artificial constructs have have chosen to you know implant these 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 um, exo exogeny clones um, and have their consciousnesses like uh, transferred um, you know from a, like a hellish dimension instead of a, instead of like a normal one because they were being normal up until like uh, December of last year. And so, from November two thousand seventeen to like des December two thousand eighteen, um, they were they were fairly fairly normal, definitely not human, um, still kind of malicious and you know, um, but uh, definitely not as as bad as they have been. Uh, but anyways, uh, at this point, I'm getting like irradiated and stuff right now. I got this horrible, shocking, burning pain all over me. It's absolutely horrible, and I can feel these little, uh, these little augmenting things just just crawling up my like crawling crawling up my leg right now and like fibrillating my my calf muscles jacking into my calf muscles uh it's absolutely hellish um anyways if i had like an exosuit with it like a bit like i said exosuit visual interface some type of like proton dispenser or just some type of just some type of uh you know disruptor beam then uh, i feel like i have a better chance maybe like a disrupting field uh, would be, uh, would be better. Um, but, you know, instead of, you know, the doom of humanity, maybe that's the future of humanity. Uh, but, um, in, until, until next time, um, go out there and develop some tech.